Hey, I'm Jason Creel. Today I want to talk to you about choosing the right equipment for your specific situation with your lawn care business. Now, when you start a lawn care business, maybe you go out and you just purchase a lawnmower that you find a good deal on or something. But as you begin to grow and have a plan for your business and figure out the type of properties that you're going to be approaching, then it's going to help you understand which type of equipment is going to be best suited for that particular type of property. Now, if you could do this on the front end, it may save you from making a mistake, you know, and that's fine. But ultimately, you can probably get by with most any mower. And as you get out there and get more comfortable what you're doing, then you can adapt and find the ideal mower for your specific situation. For instance, let me give you an example. I've seen a lot of people lately who I know who are, were using ride-on zero-turn mowers and have now recently switched over and started using stand-on mowers. One guy explained to me that he used the stand-on mower and he likes it. It's compact. It doesn't take up as much room on his trailer. It's easy to get on and off of the mower. If there's a piece of debris in the yard, he can hop off, grab it. Where on a, on a riding mower, you have to get up, put the brake on, get off, grab it, get back down, put the handlebars back in. It's a little bit more time consuming. So he just loved his stand-on mower and said that he rarely uses his riding mower anymore. Now, if I'm mowing very large properties, then I may not want to stand up the whole time. I may enjoy the convenience of having a seat, you know, so it depends on the property you're going after. If you're working on very hilly properties, then probably a walk behind mower is going to be the best at holding that hill. You might try a stand on mower, a riding mower, but ultimately those walk behinds are designed to be able to hold a hill a little bit better than the other models in my opinion. If you focus on large properties, then a 60 inch mowing deck is probably good. You might even look into a 72 inch deck. But if you focus on the smaller properties, then you know, maybe a 36 inch walk behind is sufficient. Or maybe you want to get a 48, which is kind of a versatile size. You can use it on, on a lot of different size properties and hopefully even fit it through some tight gates into the backyard. If you know you're going to be bagging a lot of properties, then maybe you want to get a walker mower with the grass handling system. It's one of the top of the line bagging mowers on the market. If your business grows to a level where you need to hire people to help you with your business and you think, well, I've got three people on my crew now. I need more than one mower. At that point, you might say, well, let's have one larger mulching mower. Let's say a 54 inch mulching mower, 60 inch mulching mower, something like that. And then we'll have a 42 inch walk behind or maybe a 42 inch bagging mower that I can use to get in those backyards, those tighter spaces, but I'll use the larger one when I'm on the wide open spaces. So as your business grows and your employees grow and you're able to buy more equipment, you can put together a combination of equipment to best suit your needs. What I want you to hear in this video, there's not necessarily one right way to go about this. You know, I encourage people all the time, if you're going to buy one mower, I like starting off with a 48 inch mower, maybe a 52 inch mower. That's kind of a versatile size. You can do, you know, residential properties, commercial properties that are smaller. You might not want it on the huge properties, but it's a versatile size that you can do a lot of things with. It's important to know the type of properties you focus on. And like I said, you may not be able to figure this out from the very beginning. You might have to get into the business and just see well, which kind of properties do I enjoy taking on the most or which ones are, and what I just seem to get. I'm trying to get the large commercial ones, but I end up getting a lot of these smaller commercial ones, maybe like doctor's offices, restaurants, things like that. So I thought I was going to need that big 60 inch mower where actually a 48 inch is going to be more suited based on the properties that have come to me. Now, if you're like me and you do a lot of weed control and fertilization, you can apply some of these similar concepts to that as well. So if you're starting off in weed control and fertilization, you might just go to a full granular program to start off. You, you might start off with a nice push spreader, be using granular pre-emergence, granular fertilizers, things like that. Well, as your business grows, maybe you're able to get a tank sprayer. So you're able to mix multiple products in the tank at one time. And that gives you some more versatility in what you're applying and allows you to be a little bit more accurate in how you apply a specific product to a lawn. And then as your business continues to grow and you've got a tank sprayer and you've got a push spreader, you think, wow, I think I could really benefit from having a ride-on spreader. So you get a ride-on spreader or maybe a ride-on spreader sprayer. And so you think, now instead of me pushing a push spreader to spread fertilizer, 
I'm gonna actually ride on this machine and it makes you more efficient and more profitable. And, and there are many companies out there that that is just about all they use is their ride on spreader sprayer. So they're spreading and spreading granular products and spraying liquid products at the same time or whichever one is needed in that specific situation. Some of this is determined about the type of terrain you're dealing with, the type of properties you're dealing with, which type of machine, even if you go with the ride on spreader sprayer, which type machine is best suited for my specific needs? They're not all created equals. They're not even created equal in how they are operated, how you drive one. Some have different transmissions in it, things like that. The point is, have an open mind, talk to other people about equipment, and as you get out there and you think, you know what, if I was able to switch over to this mower, I think I would be more efficient and ultimately make more money. And you, maybe you have some a dealer that you can go demo a piece of equipment or you have friends in the lawn business, you can go try something out they have before making that purchase. But you'll begin to learn and pay attention and observe what other people are doing and be able to figure out when is the right time to make that switch to a right piece of equipment that's going to help you be more efficient. Many times people will be using the same mower for year after year after year after year and then they switch to a different kind for whatever reason and they think, wow, I wish I would have done that sooner. Well, in that case, you don't know what you don't know, okay, but, but thankfully you're able to switch when it is time and to take advantage of the new technologies that are coming out to make your business more efficient and ultimately more profitable. I hope this video has been helpful in helping you think through which type of equipment to get for your specific situation to make you the best lawn care business owner you can be. Thanks a lot.